Here, we'll revisit the exponent laws, but this time we'll work with fractional exponents. The exponent law for multiplying expressions with the same base is a to the power x times a to the power y equals a to the power of x plus y. In other words, when we multiply the same base with exponents, we add the exponents. Let's multiply the same base with fractional exponents. We have 4 to the power of 2 fifths times 4 to the power of 1 half. We add the exponents to give us 4 to the power of 2 fifths plus 1 half. But remember, when we add fractions, they must have the same denominator. We multiply 2 fifths by 2 over 2 and 1 half by 5 over 5. So we can get a common denominator of 10. 2 over 5 times 2 over 2 equals 4 over 10. And 1 over 2 times 5 over 5 equals 5 over 10. 4 over 10 plus 5 over 10 equals 9 over 10. So 4 to the 2 fifths times 4 to the 1 half is equal to 4 to the power of 9 tenths. We can leave the answer in this form. The exponent law for dividing expressions with the same base is a to the power of x divided by a to the power of y is equal to a to the power of x minus y. In other words, when we divide the same base with exponents, we subtract the exponents. Let's divide the same base with fractional exponents. We have 5 to the power of 7 halves divided by 5 to the power of 2 thirds. This would give us 5 to the power of 7 halves minus 2 thirds. Remember, when we subtract fractions, they must have the same denominator. To get the same denominator, we multiply 7 over 2 by 3 over 3, and 2 over 3 by 2 over 2. This gives us a common denominator of 6. So we get 5 to the power of 7 times 3, or 21 over 6 minus 4 over 6, which gives us 5 to the power of 21 over 6 minus 4 over 6, or 5 to the power of 21 minus 4, or 17 over 6. So 5 to the power of 7 over 2 divided by 5 to the power of 2 thirds is equal to 5 to the power of 17 over 6. We can leave the answer in this form. The exponent law for a power to a power is a to the power x raised to the power of y is a to the power of x times y. In other words, when we have an exponent inside the bracket and an exponent outside the bracket, we multiply these exponents. Let's take a power to a power. We have 3 to the power of 5 over 2 raised to the power of 2 over 3. We multiply the exponents 5 over 2 and 2 over 3. We can simplify this product by cancelling out the 2. This gives us 3 to the power of 5 over 3. So 3 to the power of 5 over 2 raised to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 5 over 3. We can leave the answer in this form. The exponent law for a power of a product is a times b to the power x is equal to a to the power of x times b to the power of x. In other words, when we raise the product of two numbers to a power, we raise both numbers to that power and multiply them. We'll do an example involving a fractional exponent. We have 27a raised to the power of one third. 27a is the product of 27 and a. So this is equal to 27 to the 1 third times a to the 1 third. 27 to the 1 third is the same as the cube root of 27. The cube root of 27 is equal to 3. So the answer is 3 times a to the power of 1 third, or 3 times the cube root of a. So we can say that 27a to the power of 1 third is equal to 3 times a to the power 1 third, or 3 times the cube root of a. The exponent law for a power of a fraction is a over b all to the power of x is equal to a to the power of x 
over b to the power of x. In other words, when we raise a fraction to a power, we raise both the numerator and the denominator to that power. We'll do an example involving a fractional exponent. We have the fraction n over 81 raised to the power of 1 quarter. Using this exponent law, we get n to the power of 1 quarter over 81 to the power of 1 quarter. 81 to the power of 1 quarter is the same as the fourth root of 81. And the fourth root of 81 is equal to 3. So the answer is n to the power of 1 quarter over 3, which can also be expressed as the fourth root of n over 3. So the fraction n over 81 to the power of 1 quarter is equal to n to the power of 1 quarter over 3, or the fourth root of n over 3. The exponent law for a base to a power 0 is a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. In other words, any number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. We'll do an example involving fractional exponents. We have a to the power of 7 halves times a to the power of 1 half times a to the power of negative 4. When we multiply the same base, we add the exponents. So we get a to the power of 7 over 2 plus 1 over 2 minus 4. 7 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is equal to 8 over 2. 8 over 2 is equal to 4. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. And a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So a to the power of 7 halves times a to the power of 1 half times a to the power of negative 4 is just equal to 1. So now we know that the exponent laws work just the same with fractional exponents as they do with other exponents. Make sure you know these laws really well.